but can they make this rematch work for them in order to get yet another rematch in the Grand Finals? And we've said it before, we're so excited to see how well this match is going to turn out. There was a, a bit of a difference with the map selection that we saw from the last time that Team Seek went up against Sertia. I believe that was, let me just bring it up real quick, Haven, Breeze, and Ascent. And it seems like we kind of got the same mix, but then Icebox is going to be the third map. Ascent will be the second. We were talking about this while the panel was still discussing that this might not need to go for a game three because if it, that is the case, Sersha is just such a dominant team in that last particular map, if ever. In any case, Team Secret will be starting on the offense already. As you see, they do get themselves a nice little clean take onto the side. But there's already a three-man flank coming in from Sersha. And does Team Secret get a whiff of this as Borkum gets overwhelmed? And now, they're going to have to try pushing in. They actually spotted out Sushi Boys here. And this might be the night counterplay that Team Secret are looking for. Is just if they're going to get sandwiched, might as well just take off the top. Ooh. And now, it's all left to Cruz and Scary, Ooh. who's still getting corralled around. Especially because of Dispenser's turret, who's still alive, by, by the way. Timmy the turret is... He loses the Gun. ammunition, and unfortunately, Jesse Bash not gonna miss a beat. Decides maybe to save the op, not gonna be this time. But that was unlucky from Scary. He was hitting so many of those. And Jesse Bash, man, he is on that head to head that we just saw the panel discuss. And he's been an absolute star for uh, Team Secret. You know, a lot of people have been saying that, oh, when is Jesse's time, you know, it's gonna pass? Because it seems like this man's prime has never really left him. He's been mm -hmm. so incredibly smart, he's been so cohesive at one point uh, in Secret's career, or at least Inception as a team. He was the go-to guy for the clutch. Now we see that burden be distributed e equally, but Xerxes Cruz, he's very, very much uh, eager to find a very aggressive position here. Jesse Vash again, the man of the hour, trying to inch it out as well. But so far, they don't check. They do get tagged up. <gasps> oh, and Jesse, he does get hit by the aggressive Cruz. But Wits and Dubstep, man, they cut down the rest of Zerksha who try to support him. Well, even though that was a trade onto Jesse Vash there, that still gave them a lot of control, uh, a lot of information as well. And, you know, one man down on Zerksha's end. Thing is, there's a bit of a weaponry pickup here on A Long. If ever Zerk does want to go for the push, Dubstep already finds a little bit of contact. Actually, just backs away and still find Sushi Boys inside the smoke. So this uh, Steam Sushi is gonna be taken away. Surf though, still very aware that Short could be a detrimental angle and Dubstep gets a 3K. Man, Secret fought mighty impressive in the Wild West. That is the first four rounds, but Zercha again, they attempt to somewhat make a little control with the full arsenal. They have the Operator once again on Surf. We've talked about that instant gratification, that instant dominance that you have to show when you get such a big investment onto the field here. But with how Secret have been playing, it seems that they haven't really put any uh, defensive measures towards A. Sure, they put Cruz early mm -hmm, on mm -hmm. towards A, but maybe that could give them or give Secret an idea on how to play this or how they are just to it, adjusting to it. My goodness. But here we go. The aggressive, aggressive utility to stun them out. But so far, no dice on Surf. He doesn't double dip. He has to go back here because A Long seems to be infested by some of the Secret players. And Dubstep again, the spearhead piercing through Foxes, hunting him down, pelting him potentially. And Dubstep is still here despite getting hit by the vulnerability. Hasn't been discovered. Has found himself towards A Short. But is Spencer still finding Cruz, Surf, and Sushi Boys? They're upset of what happened, what's been transpiring, and they is still hesitant. That scan is gonna ping him. Kinda poorly timed, but it doesn't matter. The Killjoy lockdown is gonna come out. And now we oh! see Surf fight Jesse Bash! What a shot! Threading the needle here. And now it's a 2v3. My goodness, Surf has no breaks. He's gonna push forward, giving Sushi Boys the space he needs to take down Wits. And Dispenser's all alone. The lockdown is his friend, but he's getting shot from behind, and Sushi Boy finds his Killjoy counterpart. Too many angles to try to deal with there from Team Secret and Surf is starting to heat up. This Operator player from Sersha really giving them some options. All stem from that mistake onto C Long and it's giving Sersha uh, their first win to be honest. As now they're mm -hmm. slowing down the pace of Team Secret and Team Secret's gonna have to start uh, maybe taking that methodical approach as they can't really try to contest the Operator too much because as you can see Surf is hitting a lot of those now. It seems like they're going to try to go for C Long once again. There is the turret that will be spotting them. And Scary, as I mentioned, has been such a thorn on this particular site. And this crossfire could be just enough of what they need. The smokes to pop out. Surf is still going to get the corner, but Dubstep comes in for the swing. Double kill from the man himself. Excuse me, not Surf, but Scary and Sushi Boys. The other two S's of Sersha here. 
ultimate will be used to deter them just a little bit from the plat of the spike. No damage will be done too much by the Hunter's Fury. Just a little bit of uh, uh, updraft there from Dubstep, but all the while not. This is just them corralling Fox. Gonna have to be very afraid of the man himself. Surf does find the lurking Borikum, but he's gonna have to just tuck tail and run as there's too many of Team Secret to deal with, unless maybe, as you can see, Team Secret here thinking that he could pick up a rifle, try to go for the clutch, but no, this is still a very expensive round for Sersha. Uh, they'll have to save this Operator for next. I'm not entirely sure what Secret plans on doing uh, towards the B side. They've only really hit A and C. Maybe they're priming it for a quick explode to take the final round, but Sersha again, despite Surf hitting all those shots, I feel like it's the explosive entries that Sersha may not have seen uh, during their R&D or secret again, you know them as a team that loves to slow crawl the map loves to hit um, It hit it with with a ruler, you know, hmm What are we gonna do when we hit inch number two so on and so forth, right? But so far they've been like, you know what? We will now sharpen the ruler into a shiv and we're gonna stab Zerksha Zerksha they've been adjusting beautifully and on the fly as well. We still have yet another mm -hmm. gun round and dubstep he Jesse Vash I, I you know what? I love that play call Asrae. Jesse go kill I'm just like, oh boy, this is my time to shine. But uh, in all seriousness, yeah. perhaps they didn't clear it because, again, I feel like this is yet another callback to one of our local teams, and Black and Blue would know quite a bit of this, right? A South Build Pro would love to play in positions like that. And Jesse's like, hmm, they will never expect the Silva to be here. And it true. worked out beautifully. Very true. Patience is a virtue, right? Because. Again, Surf was so sure that somebody was going to have to push to the smoke to get that map control. But now that uh, the map dissipated, he was, as you mentioned, so sure of what was to come. Surf. Mm -hmm. Oh! Man, Dubstep has not won any of these fights whatsoever. Surf has just been an absolute beast. Cruz coming in through the smoke like a madman. Does get traded out so quickly. Scary's going to be here into the corner. Do they know? This is going to be really what? difficult for Vash, but he still gets the shot off. Surf is still here in the back of the site, now has his blade, but does he really need it? He's the Sniper Assassin, Sniper Elite, and he will help Sersha secure the defense on the A site. And we did talk about the value of the Operator. Surf, he committed to the choice. He didn't, have, he didn't even have to shoot him in the head there. He's like, you know what? Nah, that's for extra style points. Beautiful flicks all around. And we can see that everybody's locked in. Again, this is only the beginning of the day, but this could potentially be the end of the road for either of these teams. And we would l hate to see that happen. Secret, they mm. still have a commanding lead, but Zerksha, these rounds that they've been winning have been pretty convincing on their end. But still, no Ecos in sight on the side of Secret. They are at the cusp of hitting that reset. But they have to be careful here. Dubstep, once again, has been trying to spearhead this operation. But Surf has been absolutely amazing at reposting that offensive. Now they convert, or at least try to convert this Hunter's Fury ass, right? They don't get any tags up as of the moment. But the pressure has been set. And look at Foxy go. He is going to hold it down. He is going to make it feel like it's going to be hell on earth for Secret. But Secret, I think they're stuck in a corner here. They do manage to cross back out. B has not been a popular choice for them. Maybe this is the round where they change their minds. Mm, I, I'd say no, because they Scary does have the wall on the Cosmic Divide, so it might be very mm. difficult for them to play that uh, post plant. I mean, they could, but it is going to be an incredible risk for them. Okay, Dubstep, what is this? Uh, take five? <laughs> we'll see how this goes. He plays the safer route. Well, if he gets that wall back, I'm going to go nuts. But it still might not be a bad idea, if ever. Oh, Scary has been really wanting to play these uh, incredibly tight crossfire angles with his teammate. And this could be good That's because you can see Cruz is setting up the fault line. The dash away, that is... Okay, negligible. Really good for Surf, though, to actually get those two kills. The dash out from Dubstep not really getting the value that they wanted, but no weapons have been picked up here. 30 seconds step into the clock. There is still a lot of fighting prowess. So your boys into the corner, not spotted here by the turret. And this could be a false into security, but the Spencer not wincing actually fights for the angle itself, but he's alone pushing into the side. Jesse Vash a little bit too late, which is the shot. Comes in for the swing. Cruz does not know. Not anticipated. And Foxy coming Spike in planted. through short. This could be his moment to shine. What? Pops a couple of shots, but 
A while ago, he was able to pick up a Vandal. This time, it will not. The Sheriff not going to be enough and Team Secret end the first half. Aware of that. That's how you off time and how you have those tiny, True. tiny variations to mix it real up. Now, the pistol did go in the favor of Secret. Maybe in another time, that could have been shock. a different story, but Jesse Vash! Down, the shock, eight. the shot, everything in his arsenal is absolutely lethal and he repositions to be a little more aggressive. Now, Zerksha, they're a little confused right now as their utility is only going to allow them for safe, slow clears. And considering they only have two players left, despite how volatile they can be, this is still looking incredibly difficult. It's only really Dubset that's taken damage in those fights. And with a crossfire mm -hmm. like this, this could potentially be the end for Zergshot, at least for this round. But they do manage it. So no more sneaky and... Well, I would say that I'm speaking too oh soon, Jesse Bash! Where is this coming from? Where did he get that? What? Almost. Well... Like I said, oh, Asra, wow. how do we define the prime of Jesse Vash? There were so many times where people, and especially when the scene just began, Jesse is, oh, but you know, he's not as quote-unquote mechanically gifted as the other players on the team. Oh, he hasn't been spending that much time with FPS games. And Jesse Vash just says, people, I don't care. Yeah, people tend to forget he's, well, everybody's radiant here, right? But people might just forget. Everybody's radiant he's, here. Yeah, so, and this, the thing is, his, I believe his first starting game, I know other people might say it's the mobile one, but I do remember uh, faintly his wife telling me that he started with CS 1.6 in particular. So there you have it. He has his roots. Well, he has his deeply rooted love oh for FPS Lord. as an entirety. Anyways, every single fight that Search have found, they have lost. Except for that one from Cruz, but he's been tagged up quite heavily and this is still a four versus one. He's hella blinded by Borkum. He has no idea where he's going to be coming at. And Team Secret.